Close your eyes. Take a couple of good long, deep in and out breaths. And try to keep track of the breath all the way in, all the way out. Don't, your, don't let your mind wander off anywhere else. If thoughts wander off, you don't have to follow them. Just stay here with the sensation of the breathing. Commit yourself to this for the time being. But only when you commit yourself to the training does it really show its true benefits. If you do a little and then stop and then do a little more and then stop, it doesn't have a chance to grow. It doesn't have a chance to, to gather momentum. It's like planting a tree. You plant the tree and then you forget to water it. You come back, it's dead. So you have to plant another one. You water that for a little bit, then you forget. A hundred years of that, and you end up with nothing but a line of dead trees. Whereas if you take one tree and you water it continually, then there's, it's going to give you shade. It's going to give you its fruits. It's the same with the meditation. You really want to stick with it, not just while you're sitting here with your eyes closed, but as you go through the day. In John Fuang's words, make the practice timeless, akaliko. We tend to divide our days up into, now is the time to eat, now is the time to sleep, now is the time to work, now is the time to meditate. He said, but all time should be time to develop your mind. And that's what the meditation is all about, is the developing of the mind. And if your inner laws say, okay, if my mind wanders in the course of the day, that's okay, but when I'm sitting meditating, I'll try not to let it wander. It's already developed that habit that you're letting it go. You have to keep watch of it all the time, like a cowherd, as the Buddha said, on days when there's rice ripening in the fields, you have to be extra careful. Don't let the cows get into the fields. But even on days after the rice has been gathered, you still have to have a sense of where those cows are. Make sure they don't get into trouble. It's the same with your thoughts. If you just let them wander all over the place, they're going to come back with all kinds of stuff, pilfering here and here and there. creating a lot of mess for you, and then you have to clean up that mess as you sit down and meditate. But if you keep some control over them as you go through the day, it doesn't have to be too tight, but just enough to know where your thoughts are, and if they're getting into anything unskillful, bring them right back to the breath. And have this post of the breath here all the time. That way your practice becomes a timeless practice. It's only when the practice becomes timeless that you can find something that lies deeper inside. So make sure that you don't wander too far away from your post. And you begin to get the results of the practice that you came for. <laughs>